The Museum of Transport and Technology is a science and technology museum located in Western Springs, Auckland, New Zealand. It is located close to the Western Springs Stadium, Auckland Zoo and the Western Springs Park. The museum has large collections of civilian and military aircraft and other land transport vehicles. An ongoing program is in place to restore and conserve items in the collections. This work is largely managed by volunteers many of whom have been associated with MOTAT for upwards of four decades. Since the passing of the Museum of Transport and Technology Act in 2000, new management and the support of full-time professional museum staff and a large number of dedicated long-term volunteers have ensured the museum's future. New public programs and facilities now promote the collections. MOTAT was established in 1960 by a combination of groups including the Old Time Transport Preservation League, which was formed in 1957 and preserved trams and railway locomotives. MOTAT was formally opened in 1964. MOTAT-1 Great North Road MOTAT-1 was built around the site of a beam engine pump house, which originally provided Auckland's water supply system similar to the Crofton pumping station and Markfield beam engine. The council engaged the services of famed engineer, William Errington, to design and construct the pump house and boiler house to provide the first pressurized water supply to Auckland. Adjacent swampland was excavated creating a 6-foot deep meters dammed lake, which is filled by three natural springs. This area is now the Western Springs Lake and Parkland. The engine is a double wolf compound built by John Key and Sons of Kirkcaldy in Scotland, who also built the long-scrapped Lancashire boilers that originally provided the steam. The Western Springs Water Works officially opened in a small ceremony on 10 July 1877. The pump house was superseded by Auckland's extensive dam system and reticulation in 1928. Restoration and earthquake strengthening of the building was completed in 2002 and overhaul of the long dormant beam engine commenced at the start of 2005. On the 11th of October 2007 the engine moved under pneumatic pressure for the first time in 79 years and was finally tested under steam during the evening of the 29th of November the same year. The beam engine was recommissioned in a special public opening on the 19th of April 2008. A range of other early steam engines are kept in running order including a 1910 Tangy steam engine, an impressive 1911 triple expansion engine built by Campbell Calderwood from Paisley, Scotland, which was formerly from the ill-fated Sydney ferry the Greycliff which sank on 3 November 1927 after being hit by the much larger Union Steam Ship Company's Royal Mail steamship Tahiti with the loss of 40 lives. The engine ended its commercial life in the Tirau Dairy Factory. Steam for the beam engine and other artifacts provided by a 1957 Daniel Adamson steam boiler, which was formerly used at Frankham's Mill, T. Puna. Exhibits include trams, trains, vintage traction engines, carriages, cars, buses, trolleybuses and trucks, particularly fire engines, electrical equipment, spaceflight exhibits including a corporal rocket and general science exhibits. There is also a colonial village of early shops and houses, including a fensible cottage and a blacksmith shop. The MOTAT printery demonstrates type making, type setting and printing on a variety of different manual and mechanical printing presses operated by volunteers printing giveaways and small publications. A volunteer bindery group also demonstrate their talents and hold classes. In the 1970s visitors to MOTAT were entertained by the MOTAT Chorus, a group of barbershop singers who later became the Auckland City of Sales Chorus. The Pioneers of Aviation Pavilion holds memorabilia of early aviators. 
The displays include miscellaneous parts from Richard Pierce's experimental aircraft, together with research supporting the claim that he made uncontrolled hops flights prior to the Wright brothers, a replica of the craft which was flown and his third aircraft, an attempt at a VTOL tilt rotor craft. The pavilion also holds relics from the Walsh Brothers' flights and school, and a library and archive of transport resources named in memory of the Walsh Brothers available to all MOTAT visitors and via the MOTAT website for virtual visitors. Also celebrated is Charles Kingsford Smith's Trans Tasman flight in the Southern Cross, Jean Batten's England New Zealand flight, and later record breaking efforts. Her Percival Gull is exhibited at Auckland Airport. The larger civil aviation exhibits continue over at MOTAT 2 with displays relating to the Pan American Airways and Imperial Airways flying boats of the late 1930s and Teal flying boats of the 40s and 50s. The engine from Jean Batten's Percival Gull is displayed at MOTAT 2. The road transport collection rotationally displays in excess of 100 cars, trucks, motorbikes and emergency vehicles. Some of the iconic vehicles in the collection include one of the first Trekker utility vehicles, New Zealand's only homegrown production vehicle built between 1966 and 1973, based on Czechoslovakian Skoda engines and chassis. Other vehicles include a 1960s Cooper Climax race car, an early American brush motor car company runabout, an international horseless carriage, an Austin Motor Company beer tanker the first in New Zealand and a wide number of other vehicles. Also in the collection is one of the Ferguson Company tractors which Edmund Hillary used to lay supply depots for the Commonwealth Trans-Antarctic Expedition, and with which he beat British explorer Dr Vivian Fuchs SNO Cats to the South Pole on 3 January 1958. MOTAT also houses a small collection of police vehicles, including former New Zealand Transport Department, later New Zealand Ministry of Transport MOT, patrol cars and patrol motorbikes, the road policing duties of which were combined into the New Zealand Police in the early 1990s. The NZ Police collection of 40-plus vehicles were housed at MOTAT for a number of years until 2011. Trams are displayed at MOTAT-1 and operate daily between MOTAT-1's Great North Road site, via Western Springs Park and Auckland Zoo to MOTAT-2. The extended line was opened by Helen Clark on Friday 27 April 2007. MOTAT-2 Motions Road, Miola Road MOTAT-2's $15 million extended aviation pavilion housing the Sir Keith Park Memorial Aviation Collection, opened Friday 9 September 2011. Also known in the past as the Sir Keith Park Memorial Airfield, named after Keith Park, the Battle of Britain and Battle of Malta hero, MOTAT's aviation collection is on a separate site, neighbouring the Waitemata Harbour and Auckland Zoo. It contains memorials to Fleet Air Arm and RAF Bomber Command pilots, radar and other aviation-related material, as well as workshops for work on other vehicles, but the main feature is the collection of New Zealand civil and some Royal New Zealand Air Force aircraft. A Grumman Avenger TBF-1 NZ 2527 torpedo bomber was completed in December 2013 and is due to go on display in early 2014. It is a RNZAF Pacific Combat Veteran and representative of Avengers operated by the RN Fleet Air Arm. In November 2011 a Douglas A4K Skyhawk jetfighter was permanently loaned to MOTAT followed by a de Havilland Devon and Airmarque MB339 jet trainer in 2012. A back Strikemaster may join the collection from the RNZAF. There is also a military section which restores and demonstrates a selection of Second World War military trucks, light-tracked vehicles and tanks of Allied forces. 
The military section has regular open days when the Military Reenactment Society displays and demonstrates the vehicles and uniforms. MOTAT 2 also has an operational railway with one kilometre of track, stations, and a selection of former New Zealand government railways, light industrial locomotives, wagons, and carriages. On 9 September 2011 a new and larger display hangar was opened at MOTAT 2. The existing blister hangar was moved and restored as part of the same project. With the construction of the new hangar it was now possible to display the restored de Havilland Mosquito and Lockheed Hudson. Short S-25 Sunderland MKV and NAC DC-3 Dakota were in moved inside as their overhauls and external painting was completed towards the end of summer 2012. The short S-45A Solent MK-4, Ventura and top dressing Lodestar will be housed in due course as restorations and building provisions allow. Collections MOTAT features several major collections of transport vehicles Aircraft collection — houses New Zealand's largest collection of civil and military aircraft, all with genuine New Zealand aviation pedigrees. These range from relics from Richard Pierce's first 1903 aircraft and an interpretive replica, as well as a large part of his original third vertical takeoff aircraft. 1930s Fox and Tiger Moths, 1930s Rapide, short Solent 1940s double decked flying boat, from New Zealand's first international airline Teal, a short Sunderland Marine Patrol flying boat, de Havilland Mosquito wooden fighter bomber, a restored 1940s Avro Lancaster bomber, Douglas DC 3 Dakota through to a de Havilland Vampire 1950s jet fighter and most recently former RNZAF Douglas A 4. Skyhawk and Airmarque MB339CB advanced jet trainers. The aviation site of MOTAT located in Miola Road is also known as the Keith Park Memorial Airfield. A replica Hawker Hurricane is on a plinth in the markings OK1 OK of New Zealander and RAF Air Chief Marshal Keith Park Memorial at the entrance. Railway locomotives and collection include seven steam locomotives from a pioneering 1874 NZRF class to the iconic NZRK class steam locomotive, smaller branch line, industrial and logging tank locomotives. Also six diesel, petrol and petrol electric locomotives, including the DA class which was built to replace the K class from the 1950s through the 1960s and became the most prolific mainline locomotive in New Zealand. Railway carriages the collection also includes stations, carriages, wagons, and other rolling stock. Tram collection the collection includes over 20 electric, steam, and cable trams, many of which are operational, with support equipment and vehicles from former New Zealand tramway systems of Auckland, Wellington, Whanganui, and the Mornington Cable Tram System in Dunedin. Auckland's horse-drawn tramway opened in 1884 and was replaced by the electric tram system in 1902, closing in 1956. The final closure of an original street tramway was in Wellington in 1964. An 1883 Dunedin cable car trailer is the sole South Island tramway exhibit and there are additional trams from Melbourne and Sydney, Australia. The museum is one of five operational museum and heritage tramways in New Zealand. Petrol, diesel bus collection — contains a significant collection of historic buses from the Auckland region, including a 1924 White Motor Company four-cylinder side valve petrol engine, wooden body 23-seat omnibus, through a 1954 Bedford SB, petrol engine, 35-seat lightweight wooden body bus specifically built for Grafton Bridge services, through to a 1978 Mercedes-Benz 0305 which last operated in 2005 and a 1978 MANSL 200 No. 1603 retired in the 2010s. Trolleybus collection 
This collection contains a representative cross-section of trolleybuses which operated in Auckland between 1938 and 1980. First used on a one-kilometre department store operated route in central Auckland from 1938, the trolleybus system later duplicated and then replaced the ageing tram system between 1949 and 1956. The trolleybuses were in turn replaced by diesel buses in 1980. Topic: Tram service. Tram lines on sleepered track set under bitumen were laid within the museum boundaries with trams commencing operation on the 16th of December 1967. The museum tram line was later extended beyond the museum grounds along GT. North Road and opened on 19 December 1980. A further extension along Motions Road to Auckland Zoo commenced services on 5 December 1981 using rail set in mass concrete. In 2006–07 the tram line was further extended by a distance of 636 metres, to the aviation hangar at MOTAT2, the service commencing on 27 April 2007. The tramway is dual gauge, employing 4 foot and 4 foot 8.5 inches gauges, the rail welded and set in mass concrete. Trams are operated daily between MOTAT, alongside the Western Springs Park and Precinct, past Auckland Zoo to MOTAT2 and connect both museum sites. See also MOTAT collections <laughs> <laughs>